The Comcast Network proudly presents the CN100 Game of the Week. As we say goodbye to the 2012 high school football season and to the month of November, it's now time to head indoors for exciting high school basketball. Tonight, it's our season opener as two Catholic League teams are getting ready to square off in South Holland. The Seton Academy Sting play host to the Rams of Gordon Tech. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome to our CN100 Game of the Week alongside my partner, former Gordon Tech standout Cameron Smith, Mark Kruger, delighted to have you with us. Now, before we go any further, Tom Kleinschmidt, the head coach for Gordon Tech, approached me a couple moments ago and wants to know if Cameron Smith has any years of eligibility left at Gordon Tech. Well, Mark, I think I could pass for a 17-year-old with this clean-shaven baby face I have. <laughs> well, let's talk about the atmosphere here tonight, Cameron, here at Seton Academy. Homecoming week, tremendous, tremendous environment here at Seton Academy. Should be a great ball game. Well, this environment is what high school basketball is all about. It's a small gym. It's going to be very loud in here. And we're going to have some top talent on the court representing the Chicago Catholic League. Well, let's talk about your Rams of Gordon Tech. Off to a good start, 3-0. They won their own Thanksgiving tournament. But Cameron, no doubt, this is going to be their toughest test of this young season. Yes, indeed. But when you think Gordon Tech basketball, the name Tom Kleinschmidt always comes to mind. Now, he's facing a new challenge by taking over this Rams program. But he's determined to return Gordon Tech back to prominence in Chicago. As far as the Seton Academy team, well, they come into this game with a three-game losing skid. They're probably the best two and three team in the state of Illinois, but they certainly play awful well on their home court. As a matter of fact, the last time they lost here was in December of 2010 against Coach Flaherty's Mount Carmel Caravan. Well, Mark, Brandon Thomas isn't used to dropping three consecutive games, but you know how you fix that. You get a win on your home court, and tonight is a perfect opportunity for the team to get back on track. Now, opponents dread playing against Seton inside this gymnasium because they know this environment will be insane. Now, this is a very important possession for Gordon Tech offensively. They need a basket right now to try to stop this Seton run. Harrell comes up on top, dishes it off. Williams with a beautiful move in the bucket. And Raekwon on, on his last two previous shots had bunnies at the rim, easy shots, but it wasn't able to convert, but that time he did. Kamal Shashi oh again. Wow, that looked like a, just a wild off-balance shot by Shashi, but it went in. The touch to finish this play, wow. he gets the steal, very heady with his head up, and that's just strength, ladies and gentlemen, with a little bit of luck, too. But he gets that play and finishes it big. Kamal Shashi with the steal. Quick hands and the steal. Oh, a nice dish to Mooring for the bucket. Quickly up the floor. Oh, a beautiful catch and release by Foster. Counted and the foul. And it was a great job by Alex Foster to run the floor. Kamal Shashi. Presence of mind to see the big man working hard down the floor, rewards him with a beautiful pass. Foster gets the basket and gets to the free throw line. Seaton oh, reloads. Beautiful move by Shasi. Loses it, however, and the ball is picked up by Flores. Oh, kind of a wild shot. Oh, my. How did he get that to go? And that's the same thing I'm Chris wondering. Wow. Chris Orell. Oh. A little up and under finger roll. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.